Do you want the wholesale bulk order feature on your WordPress e-commerce site? You can add it easily with the B2B King plugin. It offers bulk order form and many other wholesale B2B tools. In this video, we'll show you how to use the B2B King bulk order form. Let's start. First, we are going to log into our WordPress admin dashboard. And of course, to build any kind of website, we need a theme. Now, if you already have a theme installed and you have a WooCommerce based e-commerce website, then you can follow along from the next step where we install and configure the B2B King plugin. In case you don't have a WooCommerce based e-commerce site, then you can follow this step to quickly build an e-commerce site. Okay, with that out of the way, we are going to proceed installing our theme. We're going to go to appearance and click on the add new theme button. Then we are going to install a theme called Bloxy. We will click on the install button. And then after the theme has been installed, we're going to click on the activate button. Once the theme has been activated, we're going to install the Bloxy Companion plugin. After the Bloxy Companion plugin has been installed, we are going to move on to the Starter Sites tab. Then we're going to scroll down and from the list, we're going to install this Modern Shop Starter Site. We're simply going to click on the Import button and go through the import process. After the Starter Site imports successfully, we can click on the View Site button to see how our site looks like right now. So with the click of a button, we have managed to completely change our website. The starter templates also installed some plugins on our WordPress website, including WooCommerce. Now we already got the e-commerce capabilities. If you see these messages, such as WooCommerce database update required, you can simply click on this update WooCommerce database button and wait for the database to be updated. This might take a while, but you may continue working on your site. Now, after this, we're also going to install B2B King plugin. Now, B2B King plugin is very popular when it comes to building B2B or wholesale websites on WordPress. B2B King has two types of plans, the annual and lifetime. If you look at the annual plan, there are three tiers to this plan, the startup, pro and developer. The startup is normally $199.50, but with a 25% discount, it's now available at $149. It gives you license for one website and you get 139 plus features and functions plus monthly updates and premium support. The pro tier of this plugin, which is said to be the best value, is normally $299.50, but with a 35% discount, it's available at $199. Now this gives you licenses for three websites and you get all the features that you got in the startup, plus you get the company credit add-on, Dokkan add-on and WCFM add-on. The final tier is developer, which is normally available for $399.50, but with a 25% discount, it's available at $299. This gives you unlimited site licenses. You get all the features that you get in the startup and pro, Plus, you get the back-end white label. You can also get the lifetime plans, which are a bit more expensive. But if you're thinking of long term, the lifetime plans are much more lucrative as you pay for these once and the plugin is yours forever. Now, we already have the premium version of B2B King. So we're going to go to plugins, clicking on add new plugin. From here, we're going to click on upload plugin button. Click on choose file and upload our plugin. All right, we uploaded it. Now we're going to click on the install now button. Once the plugin is installed, we're going to click on the activate plugin button. The plugin has been installed and activated, but we also need the B2B King core plugin to make it functional. In this notification, we will be prompted to install the B2B King core plugin. So we are going to click on this install now button to install the plugin. Once it's installed, you're also going to see this notification prompting you to activate your license. Now, if you have purchased B2B King Pro, you should also have the license key. So click on this activate license button and add in your email and your license key to activate your B2B King Pro license. Now, as soon as you install the B2B King plugin, it adds various functionalities to your WordPress website. Now, if we go to our website, now our my account section has been added right below products. We're going to bring this my account page and bring it to our main menu. So let's go ahead and do it. We're going to go back to our dashboard. We're going to go to appearance click on menus. From here, we're going to click on this drop down and select our main menu and click on the select button. And now we can see our main menu. And from here, we're going to drag our my accounts and drop it over here. Now we're going to save our menu. And now we're going to visit our site. And here, if we click on our my account, it's going to take us to our my account section of B2B King. This is where your customers can access their bulk order form from. Now, as we are signed into our admin dashboard, 
as an admin, we can access this dashboard. If we log out of our account, we can see this sign in form in our account page. Now this is where your customers can enter their username and password and then access the B2B King dashboard. If you want your vendors or your customers to register to your site through a registration form, that's also easy to do. So let's quickly log back in as admin. All right, we're logged back in as an admin. We're going to go back to our dashboard and from here we're going to go to WooCommerce and click on settings and then we're going to click on accounts and privacy tab and then we're going to enable this option, account creation on my account page. Then we're going to scroll back down and click on save changes button to save our progress. Once the setting has been saved, now let's log out of our dashboard and see how the my account page looks like. Now in the my account page we can see there's a registration form which your customers can use to register as a new customer. Now it's also possible to edit this registration form from the B2B King settings but we're not going to go through that process because it's going to make this video longer. Now if you guys want to learn how to create a B2B marketplace using B2B King, we already have a video on that topic, make sure you check that out. We will put the link of that tutorial in this video description. Anyway, we're going to log back in as an admin and see how we can access the bulk order form. From here, your customers can access the bulk order form. Using this bulk order form, it is possible to search for products from this marketplace and it's also possible to search for products by their product name and SKU. We can already see some products added to our marketplace by the starter site. Also, you can search products by SKU. So if I type 00, here we can see the products. Now from here, the customers can specify the quantity and finally click on add to cart to add all the items to their cart. Now to make this order form look a little bit better, what we're going to do is add some price tiers to our products. For this, we're going to go back to our dashboard and we're going to go to the product section and we're going to click on this particular product. So let's click on edit. From here, we're going to make it a simple product and you can see the regular price is 25. This is where you can add price tiers. So we're going to add a minimum quantity and for each unit, we are going to charge a little bit less than the regular price. So let's say $24 and we're going to add another tier. We're going to add $1.22. We're going to add another tier for 50 units and the pricing for each unit will be $19. We've also renamed our product. And after you're done, you can simply click on the update button to save your changes. Following this same method, we're going to update a few more of our products. Now, after updating the products, you can also go to B2B King and go to settings to tweak some of your settings. From here, you can control the guest access restriction. You can hide prices or you can replace the prices with request a code button. Again, you can click on the bulk order form. Here you will have the bulk order form theme. You can use the classic, indigo or cream. Again, you can also tweak other options such as show images in order form. You can keep this enabled. Search by SQ, you can enable it. Search product description. That's a bit more slower, but you can enable it if you want. Again, the show accounting subtotals you can also enable it if you want but that will be a bit more slower so it's up to you which options you want for your bulk order form in the tiered pricing here you can show the tiered pricing range you can also enable the enter percentage instead of pricing you can also show the discount percentage in the table and finally when you're done you can click on save changes to save all your progress once your progress has been saved, you can go back to your site and go to your account section and again, go to the bulk order form. Now, let's say we are the customer. We want to search for our product and here we found a bag and we want to add this bag to this list and we can also specify the quantity. Now, you can already guess the quantity. For one unit, it was $25, but with 20, you can see we got $480. Now, this already shows that we have got the discount. If the price was $25 for each unit, we would have gotten $500. But since we have applied the tiered pricing, we got the discount and it shows $480 here. So the tiered pricing or the discounts are working. Now, let's add a few more products. Now, if your customers run out of new line or new field, they can simply click on this new line button to add in a new field or new line and they can continue shopping. So after adding all their products, your customers can click on this save list button. Then it's going to ask your customers to name their purchase list. So once they name their purchase list, it will be saved and they can use it later on. And after that, your customers can click on this add to cart button to add all the items mentioned in this 
bulk order form to their cart and your customers will be directly taken to the cart page. From here, they can see their subtotal. They can also save this purchase list from here as well by clicking on this button. And finally, they can click on this button to proceed to check out and complete their order. Now, there's another interesting thing that I wanted to show you guys is the purchase list right above the bulk order form. If customers click on this tab, they can view their purchase list and they can add this purchase list to the cart and then check out. You can imagine how much time this saves for your customers. So that's how the bulk order form works. Now, if you want to see if your tiered pricing is working or not, you can simply go to your products page and click on a product. And here you can see that the tiered pricing is working here. So the bulk order form can also be added in any other pages. For example, if you want to create a page for the bulk order form, that's easy to do. So just simply go to pages and click on add new page, give a name to your page, then choose the short code block from here and paste in the following short code. Now, once you add this short code, just simply publish this page. All right, the page has been created. Now let's click on view page. And now you can see the bulk order form in this page. And you also know how to add pages to your main menu. So you can add this bulk order form page on your main menu. So that is how you can use the bulk order form of B2B King on your B2B website. So we hope that this video was helpful for you guys. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos on WordPress. Thank you for watching. See you next time.